everybody. Um, I'll be here for like a second. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my current subscribers. If you like this video, uh, make sure you hit that button somewhere over here. I don't know. Um, anyways, we're going to get right into it. Um, how to pass the CompTIA Security Plus in three steps. We're going to keep it completely simple. I guarantee if you follow these steps, you will pass. I mean, I failed the exam one time, the first time, but that was before I was really kind of taking these steps properly. And then um, after I applied them, uh, one within one week's time, I reattempted re the exam and I passed it. So knock them, knock them out straight, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through them. You have to read the book cover to cover. The entire book has to be read cover to cover. I'm going to play some B-roll in here and you'll see where on my Instagram I actually have my story uh, where I documented my entire process of when I did it. Uh, so I'm not just jumping on here telling you something that I wouldn't do. You have to read the entire book. The reason why you read the entire book is because there are different concepts in there that are just, they will pop into the exam and if you have them kind of locked down into your brain obviously you're not going to memorize everything but you do it does help when it comes to um actually testing on these these concepts and and different things like that um this isn't a technical video so i'm not going to go into it technically because most of the people that are, re are looking at this video um maybe or may not have they're at all different phases of their studying um aspects so that being said, I'm not going to speak technically. This is a, literally about the process. We'll have a different video where we talk more technically. Um, the next thing is to get on YouTube, right? So step one, read the book cover to cover. Step two, get on YouTube. Uh, when you, when I, what do I mean by get on YouTube? Um, look at videos like Professor Messer has some great videos and also subscribe to my channel um, because I'll be posting new videos specifically for the CompTIA Security Plus that will help you pass this exam. Um, and then just type in simple um, search of how to um, pass the CompTIA uh, Security Exam. And then there are other components as well. Like once you get to the next phase, which I'll discuss, you'll be able to use this as a much more targeted tool because specific, there are specific concepts and things like that that you might not be grasping, um, such as, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to keep this technical um, because I know SIT folks kind of sometimes can speak in too much technical lingo where it can kind of scare off people that want to get into the industry. So I'm not, I'm tech purposely, anyway, I already said that. So yes. Simple thing, uh, Professor Messer, he has tons of videos. I was like, wow, this guy. And what he does is he goes in and he breaks up each individual concept into very small videos. So it's like he'll have like a seven minute video on one subsection of a domain, of a security domain, whatever, in the book. So that was extremely helpful because my, one, my, my attention span is extremely short. So his videos are great. There are other people that kind of have talked about them as well, um, but check them out. Third and final step, practice exams. Every certification that I, I've taken, and I've taken pretty much the gauntlet of the highest and the hardest certifications there are out there. The practice exams that you can take. So practice exams in the book, they're okay. They're good. You need to do them. But everyone says, oh, you need to do the practice exams in the back of each chapter. I don't really agree with that. Um, I think you need to look at them because guess what? You're not going to be writing down your exam. You know, like this is a this is a computerized test. And so you need to practice in the computerized testing way. So what I recommend you do is to get on, I think, measureup.com. Um, they have a very, very good um, uh, practice exam, which I use for them. Um, Kaplan has them as well. 
as well as Boson. I think for this particular exam, I used um, Measure Up. And man, when I tell you, I, I put in so many hours into this where I knew, you know, the exam questions that were coming up next. I could, I ended up um, testing to about probably the 95% on any practice exam um, across uh, even different platforms. And what I would do is also Google like sample testing exams to ensure that, oh, I wasn't just memorizing the questions based on this data set. Um, and people say, oh, your memorization is memorization. You should avoid memorization because you won't learn the concepts. First of all, um, I disagree with that completely. And I'll tell you why, because reading a question is actually reading. It's no different than reading a book. So the only difference is, is that there are apparent wrong answers in there. And when you go to these good sites like Measure Up, what they will do is they will actually um they will actually if you get a question wrong there will be a section where they break down the entire answer um in the concept of that answer and so you're then able to understand why you got it wrong and not make that same mistake again and then when you see that concept again you're able to um and so the reason why i failed well i talked about it previously but I think that part of it was, you know, this was my first like cyber IT related certification period and I didn't really have a strong networking uh, background. And so unfortunately, um, either way, that's not really an excuse to be honest with you. Uh, I just didn't, I was just this close to, 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 to passing it and um, I missed it on the networking portion of it um came back passed it and i got it matter of fact i think i got it right let me see make sure i don't show y'all my credit card numbers <laughs> i thought y'all was gonna get some huh okay yeah so here we go boom that is my card um i'm official tissue baby anyways you can be too, you will be too. It's kind of weird that I carry around that card in my um, wallet. Nobody really does that. The only reason that I do is because I travel so much and I have no idea where all my other certifications are. Um, and so I'm actually happy to have the card because it's, it's beneficial because recruiters and people like this, they call me all the time and a lot of times they have to check your number in the database so they'll ask you for it. So it is actually helpful. I don't just go around showing people, but um, like if I do get a call and somebody needs to check my number in the database or something like that, and I don't have it offhand, I'm just, you know, out with the family or something. I uh, just do 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 do, send it over to them. It's probably a million more ways to do that. Anyways, three steps, those are the three steps. Like and subscribe, um, and that's it, man. We're gonna roll the tape.